this was our Memorial Day bear hunt. And uh, when you get out of the country, it makes you really appreciate the things that you do have in the United States because uh, we had the chance to talk to a couple other guests up at Shannon Lodge who weren't from the U.S. And uh, some of the things that they told us while we were staying there, not being able to own a gun and uh, not being able to go in their backyard and hunt, these are some things that we kind of take for granted as Americans. And until you get out away and talk to other people that aren't from the U.S., it doesn't really sink in. But it sank in this week, especially with all the things that have gone on. And uh, I'd like to dedicate this bear to all the proud men and women that served our country. So this is uh, the Memorial Day bear. And I couldn't be happier. The last two nights of our trip, we're going to have our cameraman T-Bar up in a tree stand and hopefully T can get a bear just like Big D did. Now it's time for Making Sense Out of Sense with Don Bell, brought to you by Code Blue. Folks, one of the biggest questions we get asked all the time is, how effective is rattling? Hey, that really depends on the buck doe ratio where you are, but one of the things that's a common thread in rattling is that you want to be able to rattle, and the biggest misnomer in rattling is you want to get down hard on it. That's a misnomer. All a rattling does is puts a deer downwind. The key to rattling is using the right scent with, when you rattle. For instance, a lot of people use estrus. It's the number one selling lure in America. But when you rattle, what did I just tell that old buck that laying down there in that bottom? I told him two bucks are fighting. Hey, what are they fighting over? They're fighting over a doe. So if you put estrus out and the buck goes downwind, what he is smelling is a doe. The reason a buck goes downwind when you rattle, and everybody knows he will, the reason he does, he's wanting to smell what he thinks he's hearing. What he's hearing is two bucks fighting over a doe. That's a territorial infringement. Hey, what you do this year is you rattle, you put your uh, buck urine out in your tarsal gland, and when that old boy goes downwind and smells that, that's like coming home smelling Old Spice, and hey, knowing he doesn't do it, it's a territorial infringement. Ears will go back, hair will stand up, tail will tuck, and you'll have you some action. Folks, my name is Don Bell, and I'm with Code Blue, and that's making sense out of sense. Dad? Dad? Dad! Dad? Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter for hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. For a free catalog, call toll-free or shop online. Secrets of the Pros is brought to you by Walker's Game here. I was lucky enough to get my bear Wednesday night, and tonight we're changing roles. My cameraman, pro staffer T-Bar, is going to go in and see if he can get a bear. But just because I'm not hunting doesn't mean I can't be scent conscious. So this is what I was using the other night, this odor eliminator. Really works well, and uh, hopefully it'll work well enough tonight so T-Bar can get a shot. We can head back to the States. We're going to try some of this Night and Hell Stealth Dust that the guys at the SHOT Show gave us to try out up here. We had a bear come in last night behind me, and uh, I need him to come at least another 10 yards to get a shot. He put his nose winding us back and forth on the road, and I think he smelled something he didn't like. So tonight, we got the, the dust, the stealth dust. Out. Hopefully it works. Here we are back again. Last last night of the hunt. Once again it's raining. I'll tell you what, you never know how to dress up here. One minute it's uh, real hot and warm and bugs everywhere. And then just like that, dark clouds came in and a cold front must have dropped 15 degrees. It's like it did last night, but luckily Denny talked me into wearing a big heavy coat. Tonight, so I didn't freeze like I did last night. I saw a bear out on this road about five o'clock. He's never made his way to the chum bucket. Hopefully this rain will 
get his appetite going. So we're just gonna have to sit tight. Get in there with pictures, Serge. Come on. T bar. Hey, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm psyched. First bear? First bear. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. First bear. Thank That's you very me. much. Very happy. Thank you, buddy. Good work. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Boy, is that thick. How in the world are you hunting that stuff? Huh? You need a skid loader to get through there. Look how thick that stuff is. You really don't want to appreciate the bush up here until you have to drag a bear through it. Well, Sylvain, we've had a fantastic trip once again up here at Shannon Lodge. Some great fishing. Shot a real nice bear. I just can't say thank you enough. Now, if someone would like to get more information on coming up here to Domain Shannon, how can they contact you? Just call 1-888-449-3285. And for all of you people out there that are hunting the web, check them out under our Recommended Outfitters page on our website at www.usaoutback.com. And always remember, it doesn't matter whether you're hunting or fishing, your actions represent millions of other sportsmen out there with what you do. So always be an ethical sportsman. We'll see you next week right here on USA Outback. For more information about USA Outback, give us a call at 888-682-2596. And the next time you're hunting the net, 
visit our website. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the Outback.